Hey guys, it's Sanctuary here from Impulse Esports, and I am joined by our new A team coach, Buddha. Uh, Buddha, why don't you uh, introduce yourself a little bit? All right. Well, uh, my name is Buddha, and uh, yeah, I, I recently got appointed to the position of uh, the A team coach for Impulse Esports, and I'm uh, I'm very happy to be here. We're happy to have you too, uh, and you've you've casted a little bit with us, right? Yeah. No, I've been casting with the ISTL for. Uh, uh, basically the beginning of season two. And uh, it's a lot of fun, actually. And uh, in that sense, I kind of got to meet the guys from Impulse since Impulse is kind of running the league. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, we got along very well, and I like them. I think they like me. So it uh, seems like it. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's really fun to watch you uh, to cast. You and Joker the other night were pretty funny. <laughs> uh, that was actually during team practice, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, but I've done a couple of casts with Joker on the side, too, and we were casting, so it counts. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what actually brought you into Impulse? Uh, well, uh, like I said before, I was talking to a lot of the guys from the ISTL, and uh, yeah. my old team, Team Air, uh, unfortunately disbanded. But, uh, you know, they were looking for an A-team manager, and I wasn't really looking to fill the spot initially, but uh, they kind of talked me talked to me about it, and... Uh, I was really interested, and after seeing a lot of their players play, I saw they had a lot of potential. Uh, so I brought a couple of the players in from Team Air uh, that you know didn't really have a team yet. And uh, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to uh, hopefully pushing this team to uh, the next level. Yeah, our um, our new ad, um, Faithless, was from your team, right? That's correct. Faithless and uh, was Intense on your team as well? Intense and also Ender. Okay, cool. Um, and, uh, how long have you been working within esports? Uh, not too long, actually. Maybe a year and a half. Uh, working within esports is, like, a weird role to define, because, like, there aren't really jobs, right? So, right. Uh, I've been, I've been casting for, you know, teams I was on in the past for maybe a year and a half now, so I, I guess I'll give that as an answer, but, uh, you know, it's not like I have a job in esports, uh, that pays or anything, so. Right, yeah, just your... Your stint in esports. Yes. Um, so, uh, what actually brought you into esports? Uh, well, uh, I played a lot of games as a kid, not necessarily casually, a little bit competitively, but on a very on a very casual scale scale on the competitive side. Uh, so, I guess uh, for StarCraft, getting into esports, it was really uh, a podcast called StarCast. Uh, I yeah. started listening to it in the beta when I was in England because, like, I had no internet connection over there, and it was really, uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but it was horrible because I didn't have my computer. And uh, yeah, they uh, started talking about the GSL and little tournaments going on. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I'll watch some of them. And I started getting used to some of the players, and all of a sudden, like, I don't know what happened. I just really got into it, and uh, I, I watch everything now. I watch DreamHack, MLG, GSL, like every game from every one of those I can get my hands on. So yeah, yeah, that's how I was. I actually didn't. Uh, I had zero clue StarCraft or any like anything to do with esports existed yeah, prior to I, last. Like I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, like uh, prior to last November, zero clue that yeah. StarCraft and esports existed. And then I watched MLG Providence and saw um, Naniwa uh, go second at MLG mm. Providence and uh, lost to Lenoch. And uh, and I was like, oh my god. What is Protoss? This is so awesome. <laughs> and uh, uh, got StarCraft for Christmas and have been playing it ever since, and I haven't missed any major event at all. So it's been, it's been fun. It's life-sucking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, what, uh, what race do you play, and what rank are you, and what um, servers do you play on? Uh, I have an account on all three servers, and I'm a Masters random player. Um, on NA, I have one account as each race in Masters, and then I have a separate account I play random on. Then I have another Smurf account, and then I have a Korean and EU account. So uh, I play this game way too much, and uh, it really should. <laughs> you have a lot of money invested in it. <laughs> well, other people do, and I kind of like acquire their accounts, I guess. You acquire their accounts? Okay. Yeah. That's how you should do it. Um, yeah, so playing random, that must keep the game pretty interesting for you. Yeah, uh, I can kind of help. You know, not the highest tier of players because I'm not a I'm not a high masters player, but uh, I can really help people just like develop themselves by, you know, they can say, hey, I need this kind of player, and I'll be like, I can do it, 
you know, what do you need me to do? Because I'm used to seeing everything from all sides. And uh, uh, hopefully that helps me as a coach, too, because uh, I don't I, I plan, of course, on letting the players kind of hold on to their style. And uh, I'm not going to, like, force anyone to do anything. But hopefully it gives me some insight as to, you know, how maybe they can adjust their style, because I don't follow specific build orders when I play. I, I really kind of let it flow out uh, just with the game itself. So maybe, uh, hopefully, I can I can have that rub off on some of the players, even though their mechanics are better than mine, and uh, a lot of their game understanding is going to be better. Hopefully, I can help them out in specific situations and such. Yeah. Um, what successes do you have uh, with any sports as a player and uh, as uh, a coach? Uh, well, as a player, I don't have any. Uh, outstanding victories or anything in any specific games. Uh, I, again, I played a lot of games very competitively, but not really in any leagues or anything. So uh, my best achievements are in uh, in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I ran a team called APG, and we were in the top eight of game battles for PC for a really long time. Um, and then I ran Team Air, which kind of exploded, and then, like, like a supernova just like exploded and <laughs> faded out. I don't know what happened there. And yeah, uh, yeah uh, I, I have a lot of experience and uh, I tend to think of myself as a relatively reasonable person uh, that can be approached. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, I, I like to think that my people skills are uh, what makes me qualified for a position like this. Um, and I probably should have asked this earlier, but uh, what made you choose Buddha as your uh, handle? Um, this is a difficult question to answer. Um, I was semi-raised Buddhist. Like, okay. I went to Buddhist church or temple uh, every week, but my parents weren't really, like, uh, into a whole belief system necessarily. So I guess I would say I, I like the morals that uh, Buddhism teaches in particular, uh, but I don't really hold any okay. uh, for or against or anything like that for... In yeah. religions, I guess. Yeah. All right. Well, that. Also, was... I have a shaved head and I'm half Asian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, where uh, where could Impulse fans find you? Oh online? well, Impulse fans can find me uh, on Twitter at Buddha SC two, and that's Buddha spelled the correct way, which is B U D D H A S C two. Uh, and you can find Impulse on Twitter at imp underscore esports i m p underscore esports. And you can also find our website at impulseesports.com. And uh, I really hope you guys check us out. Thanks for joining me, man. And I uh, hope you uh, keep uh, having fun with the team. And I hope you're uh, a good addition to the team. And take care. Of course. Thanks a lot.